Welcome back to Tip TV Education. My name's Charlie Burton. Now on this show, we usually interview people who may have been working for 10, 20, 30 years or more and have then decided to get into trading because they've built up some capital over the years and they want to uh, trade on the side for maybe from their careers or whatever. Today, however, we have a student, not only a student of the markets, but a student of life as well. He's, an ed he's at university just uh, in his first year completing his degree. Ali Ahmed, welcome to the, the show. Thank you very much for having me in here. That's all right, no problem. Now, Ali, you're actually originally from Sweden, is that right? Uh, yeah, I was born in Sweden and I lived there for 12 years. Yeah. And I moved on to London. I live with my family. Yeah. And yeah, I'm a full time student studying marketing and advertising for first year. Because you moved back to the UK because your, your father was, is a, an active property investor. Yeah, um, well, yeah, um, he moved to Sweden for business and for us, obviously, for education. But, um, yeah. He just buys and sells houses outside London, and yeah, he has been there for long now. Uh, you've got it in your blood then, so you, yeah. <laughs> your dad buys and sells houses and you're looking to buy, and, or you are buying and selling in the markets. Hopefully, yeah. So what got you in, how long ago did you get into trading and why? So yeah, I started since mid-2015, and I've been, I started with actually buying a option and side. I think every new beginner will start with buying an option these days. But yeah, um, I started and it took me two months to realize that it's not trading, it's like gambling basically. But yeah, and I moved on, I moved to a trading course for about, after, after I left binary option and traded demo account for a bit and made some profit and I was like, this is easy. And then I was, had to convince my dad that trading is for me, this is the future, that's where I'm going to make the big money from. And then he looked and he was like, oh, it's, it looks smart with the candles, you know, it's flashing, flashing green and red. And he gave me about, about five grand around that, I'm not sure. And then um, within one month, and I lost 50% of that capital. And from that time, I gave up. I gave up from trading for like four months. But um, yeah, and then something within me told me not to leave trading. Yeah. It was hard. I didn't expect it to be that hard, but it was painful really from the It was very good of you to actually stop trading at that point because a lot of traders, um, especially, I'm not going to be condescending, but you were 17 years old at that stage, a lot of traders who might be 17 might have just carried on trading and blown the lot. There's plenty of ad you know, people who are 40 years old who will go and do that. So it was a lot of discipline to actually stop at that point. You did respect the money though, didn't you? Uh, you know, even though you didn't have the tools, so you still lost 50% of it, but you respected it enough to know to stop. No, the thing is, it wasn't my money, so that was the worst bit, to be honest. But um, yeah, I lost 50%, and from there I was like, that's it, something must have gone wrong. And then I looked at it, and then I, I knew it was going to be hard for me. I left it for four months, and... You were trading a dem demo account, and then you, you decided, that, well, you've still, you're trading a, a demo account currently, but what you're trying to do is just build up that experience, yes? Um, yeah, um, so um, after I traded my dad's money, I lost 50% of the money, and it was really painful, but something yeah. with me told me not to give up, yeah. because trading isn't, isn't easy. If it's easy, we'll all be millionaires. That's what, that was, like, number one in my brain. I knew it's not, it's not going to be easy. So... Um, I was like, let me give it another go and we'll see how it goes. Took my time with it. I wasn't in a hurry for some reason. At the beginning, I was born not anymore. And I always think about long term right now. And I'm still trading demo account. Hopefully, within six months, I will turn to real money. Okay, so you were uh, trading binary options. You realize, obviously, you got suckered in via the marketing that happens with bi in that side of the industry. You got suckered into the marketing. That's fair enough. It got you into the industry. You realised that wasn't the, the way that you wanted to trade. Um, how did you go about getting back into it? So you took those four months off. How did you come across, uh, you know, change? You went on a trading course and, and then what happened after that? Um, when I went on a trading course, um, yeah, I learned the basics firstly. And then after I, after I lost money, I was watching the documentary, we're in the BBC documentary. Yeah. And and I was trading demo account at the same time, so I watched it and uh, I was like, I knew it that because it was surprising a lot of people losing money that time. Yeah. And so I knew it, that it's a tough thing, you know, it's not as easy as the industry tells you because the marketing is so good, attracts everyone, and that's why a lot of people lose money. Um, so yeah, I was trading demo account, losing money, my account was going sideways. Um, yeah, so, so in interview, and you were an educator, and I never knew I was surprised. So my goal from that time was to, um, Join a proper trading course, 
get the tools, the momentum, because it was really helpful for me. And yeah, after I joined the university, I had the money to join and they join the course, yeah. That's really interesting, actually, because you're at university. You're, you're living at home, though, aren't you? You're commuting to your university each day, um, which is probably a good thing for the discipline. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your daily routine. You get up early and... Yeah, I usually wake up 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Yeah. Open my laptop, look at the market, um, just analyse the market, look at the four-hour, one-hour chart. And if there are any trades, I execute some trades. But yeah, my university usually starts after the midday, so day trading is perfect but for it's, me. But it's good discipline that you'll, you'll get up mm -hmm. that early. There's not a lot of students who would get up that early to... Well, yeah, that comes because I'm living with my family. So if I'm living in a campus or something else, my brain will be somewhere else. So yeah. I would definitely not be where I am right now. Yeah. But yeah, I'm used to it, actually. I'm used to it. I know, like, I know a lot of successful people that I watch, they wake up in the morning, they work out and get into their jobs in the morning. Yeah. So yeah, morning for me is the main thing for trading and that's what I'm looking to do in the future, stay in the same habits, wake up in the morning, trade, open positions. Now what I think has been um, quite interesting with you so, from what we've uh, found out so far is that you, yes, you're trading on a demo account, which I think is really good because you, like you said, you've got money, you've got money in, an, uh, in bank accounts ready to be able to trade with, but you see it as a longer term uh, horizon thing, don't you? Yeah, because if it's that easy, everyone will become rich. You know, everyone will be millionaires. We have so many billionaires, millionaires and billionaires. But because um, trading is just more accessible, so everyone looks at it as something easy, and that's why people lose money. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just basically like a degree. For, like when you get to marketing, you've got three years of studying. So you might as well do that for trading, study for three years or four or even five years, and you can get something out of it, which would change your life. And yeah, always look at the long terms because. It, w it won't come that easy. I've experienced and it was painful when I lose a lot of money. Yeah. So you see this as a three, four year endeavor to learn the, s the skills that you feel that you, you need? Yeah, definitely. Even more, maybe. Yeah. Oh, good. See, I love hearing that sort of thing because too many people come into our industry thinking it's a get rich quick type of thing and, um, and then quit within three or f three months or so because all of a sudden they, they've got bored or whatever. Oh, yeah, and then they call it gambling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to put their name as a bad yeah. name. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, what we're going to do at this stage is we're going to cut off this, this first part of the interview. And when we come back, we'll discuss a little bit. We'll actually go for a slightly different slant. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a coaching session or mentoring session with you just to, just to take us through the next uh, part of this interview. So we'll be back shortly after the break.